There is a U.S. citizen who was tortured and now sentenced to many 16 years in prison over tweets in Saudi Arabia. Now, to be clear, he sent these tweets out while he was in the United States because he's a U.S. citizen. Um, and he got, because of those words he spoke, as we've seen with the Saudi Arabian government, sentenced to 16 years in prison after being tortured. Reading a little bit about this, an American citizen has been arrested in Saudi Arabia, tortured, and this is from the AP, and sentenced to 16 years in prison over tweets he sent while in the United States, his son said Tuesday. Saad Ibrahim Almadi, a 72-year-old retired project manager living in Florida, was arrested last November while visiting family in the kingdom and was sentenced earlier this month. His son, Ibrahim, told the Associated Press, confirming details that were first reported by the Washington Post, Almadi is a citizen of both Saudi Arabia and the United States. There was no immediate comment from Saudi officials. State Department deputy spokesman uh, speaking to reporters in Washington confirmed Almadi's detention Tuesday, quote, we have consistently and intensively raised our concerns regarding the case at senior levels of the Saudi government. Just a little bit more um, to take a look at. It appeared to be the latest in a series of recent cases in which Saudis received long jail sentences for social media posts critical of the government. Saudi authorities have tightened their crackdown on dissent following the rise of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, who is seeking to open up and transform the ultra-conservative kingdom, but has adopted a hard line toward any criticism. And this uh, reminds me in some ways of Jamal Khashoggi, of course, a uh, Washington Post journalist who got killed and dismembered at the direction of MBS. And um, it is a brutal, brutal government there, again, since the Crown Prince um, and before, but the Crown Prince, Mohammed bin Salman, directing a lot of these brutal actions. And so this is important. Um, the United States has a very close relationship with Saudi Arabia. And so we need to balance the benefits we get from that with the horrible moral atrocities that that government takes part in. And are we properly using our influence that we have with their government because of our um, geopolitical relationship with them to leverage them to improve or take a stance against them in many of these areas? Because again, a United States citizen excuse me, being tortured and now sent to prison for 16 years because of his speech that he did while he was in Florida, while he was in the United States. Incredibly uh, heartbreaking. And I'm going to be interested to see if there's any action taken. Obviously, because he's also a Saudi Arabian citizen, it's tough for the United States to get um, as involved as they can get when it's just a you know, sole United States citizen. But um, so many atrocities going on within the Saudi Arabian kind of realm that the United States, I think, should take a more active uh, stance against.